The Avant Solo Adapt Negative Pressure Wound Therapy System is designed to deliver safe and effective negative pressure therapy for up to 14 days. The following animation is a brief guide to the setup and use of the system. Start by attaching the canister to the bottom of the pump. To do this, align the opening in the top of the canister with the spigot projecting from the bottom of the pump. Once aligned, push together and then secure the canister tubing by pushing into the pinch clamp at the back of the pump. Next, turn the pump over and remove the battery compartment door by sliding up. Insert two of the AA batteries supplied with the system, paying attention to the correct orientation of the battery terminals. Now, replace the battery compartment door. When the batteries are inserted correctly, the pump performs an automatic self-check. In self-test mode, the pump activates for a short period. All light indicators flash in turn and the pump will emit audible notifications, first in a medium frequency, followed by high frequency. This completes the self-test. After self-test is completed, the pump will remain paused until started. Next, before applying the dressing, cleanse the wound and surrounding skin taking care to dry the skin around the wound. To fill the wound cavity, next, while keeping a distance from the wound to ensure no fragments can fall into the wound, cut the Avant Solo Adapt foam to the shape of the wound, such that it will fit into the cavity without overlapping the skin surrounding the wound. Now, assess the wound and surrounding anatomy to determine if the film dressing needs to be trimmed and make this adjustment before removing the release liner from the film dressing. Ensure a margin of 4 to 5 centimetres onto surrounding skin. Remove the release liner from the film dressing. Start with the centre piece and once removed, orientate the film dressing over the wound. Once you've applied the film dressing, you can now remove the remaining two pieces of release liner, taking care to smooth out creases or wrinkles. Before attaching the transfer port, it is necessary to cut a hole in the film. The hole should be no more than 2.0 cm in diameter. Now, remove the release film on the bottom of the transfer port. Locate the port over the hole in the film and then apply. Smooth around the edges of the transfer port to ensure you have a good seal. Connect the transfer port tubing to the canister tubing by coupling the green connectors. They will only fit in one orientation. Check to ensure the two clamps are not clamped. To start therapy, press the green button and hold for two seconds. You will now hear the pump activate and see the lights in the start pause button flash in unison. You can also observe the dressing contracting as the vacuum is established. The film dressing will have a slight wrinkled appearance and feel firm to the touch once a vacuum seal is achieved. If a leak exists at application and negative pressure cannot be established, the device will activate an audible leakage alarm and the light indicator for air leakage will flash once every second. The pump will go into pause mode. If this occurs, adjust the dressing, paying attention to remove any wrinkles in the dressing border before restarting the pump. Once a vacuum is achieved, and during normal operation, the green button will flash two times every minute, indicating the system is working normally. To change the canister, first pause the pump by pushing on the green button for two seconds. The pump will emit two short audible notifications to confirm it is in pause mode. The audible notifications are repeated every 15 minutes as long as the therapy is paused. Next, slide the tubing clamps up close to the green connectors and then push both clamps across the tubing. This will minimise the potential for fluid leakage from the tubing when you disconnect the two tubes. You may now remove the canister. First, remove the tubing from the pinch clamp. Next, depress the clear plastic tabs on either side of the pump and pull while gently rocking to release the canister. Once the tabs clear the pump housing, the canister will disengage. Dispose of the canister in clinical waste or as regulated in your care setting. To replace the canister, 
you repeat the steps at the beginning of this animation, making sure you secure the tubing in the pinch clamp at the back of the pump, couple the two green connectors, unclasp the two tubing clamps and restart the pump. Finally, to ensure the delivery of safe, effective negative pressure therapy, the Avant Solo Adapt Pump has three audio-visual alarms for leakage, low battery and blockage conditions. If you experience a blockage or leak alarm event, the system will issue an audible alarm and the associated alarm symbol will illuminate. The pump will go into a paused state. The device continues to run while a low battery alarm is active. For further information, please refer to the printed instructions provided with your Avant Solo Adapt Negative Pressure Wound Therapy System.